Yo, what is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you guys some of the best effects and not only the best effects, but some of the best techniques for editing trap music videos, darker theme music videos. And this is a huge part of the music industry. So these videos need to be very specific to the music. And this is probably the number one genre where I see people kind of get things mixed up and they just don't really edit to the music as well. And they don't apply the things that really should fit the video. So I'm going to give you guys some really useful tips. We're going to talk about the color grading. We're going to talk about some free LUTs you guys can get your hands hands on. We're going to talk about some easy effects you guys can do within Premiere within seconds. We're going to talk about presets. We're going to talk about stuff you can do in After Effects. We're going to cover everything. Hopefully this video helps a lot. So anyways, if you are new here, consider subscribing, joining the community for more videos like this, music videos, tutorials. Also check out the links down in the description. We got a bunch of packs, presets, free resources, things like that. They're going to help you throughout your process. Link down below to my website, mediumnopoly.co. We just dropped a new pack, the Speed Demon Effects Pack. We're going to get more into that later because this is definitely something that I molded with all the things that I'm about to talk about in mind so anyways let's go ahead and start we're gonna start off with the color grading so anytime you're shooting something to get the best color out of it you want to be shooting and as neutral as possible now depending on what camera you have you'll be able to change your picture profile you don't want to set it to auto you don't want to send it to normal make it as neutral as possible I shot this on a Sony a6300 pretty sure I shot it in Cine 4 I didn't shoot an s log but that's always a great idea to shoot an s log or c log so right now in Premiere we're working in the color workspace Let's come over here to the Lumetri color panel and what I see a lot of people do is they come over to their creative area Click this and for the looks they put on some sort of really bright kind of LUT depending on the music and the vibe You need something that's really grungy and we're gonna talk about some options like that So say for example, I'm gonna slap on the Sam Colder LUT probably the most popular LUT that people use whenever they're first starting out So I'm gonna throw that on and you can just see that it doesn't really match well I'll bump down the opacity But we have these kind of pink skin tones and it just doesn't match the vibe of the video as well you don't want something that's bright something that's made for really like blue oceans and like drone shots you want something that's really grungy and gritty and something that can match this a lot better so i'm gonna throw on this light this is from the iwlt bap um, i'm not sure to pronounce that free lights you guys can get your hands on this is the humble light I'm gonna throw on the standard. You guys can just see some of the difference. It just does a good job at color correcting. I'm gonna go over to my basic correction. I'm gonna mess around with the brightness a bit. I'm gonna bump up that contrast, maybe add a tiny little tint of green. Now, everything's always gonna look different depending on your lighting. This, we had pretty low lighting, but there are some other LUTs. Now, this is called Beyond the Pines LUT. This is one I made. Now, it starts off really kind of messed up, but if you just bump down the intensity, you can get a nice blend, crazy cinematic stuff. And of course, you can mess with the actual intensity, like I said, to bump this up and usually I have this on my website for I think ten dollars I'm gonna be giving this out in this video for free so link down in the description a free let from my website if you guys do want to pick this one up I think it's pretty useful and it works really well with kind of low light shots just like this I like to go with a more green tint than magenta or a more cold tint but one other thing that I want to mention is don't overdo the cold because I see a lot of people shoot in this kind of white balance that makes all their shots look blue I think that's another big beginner mistake that a lot of people do so keep that in mind don't overdo any of the color just try and find a nice medium now if you raise up the highlights and the whites it's cool if you want to kind of bring out the details and like smoke or things like that you can get some pretty cool stuff other than that just some basic effects that we can throw onto the color grade that make it kind of pop a bit more one thing that you see really popular is this kind of VHS overlays just look up any kind of free VHS pack one really huge VHS pack on my website for free as well you just throw that over your clip click on there go to effect controls change your blending mode under opacity to something like screen or you can really mess around there and you're going to get different looks every time depending on what vhs thing you put on there so that is also a really simple option just using overlays changing around blending modes and like i said if you want some of these to kind of mess around with check out my website link down below we have some more that instead of giving you vhs this one is film scratches so let's do the same thing let's go up to our effect controls once our clip is selected Go down to where it says opacity you might need to kind of open that up change your blending mode to screen maybe hard to see on the recording but just these little speckles of film you can of course just add the normal one that's built into premiere and then you can mess around your settings for how you want it to look that's just some basics so like i said try and just make it look cinematic but kind of add maybe a little bit of blue in the temperature maybe a tiny bit of tint don't overdo anything there's a bunch of really good luts out there you can get for free just look up free grunge lut free trap music video lut and then also the number one helpful thing when it comes to color grading is the saturation you always kind of want to desaturate a bit whenever you're doing this if you have too much saturation like i said it just kind of looks like too colorful i want to get make it gray but you want to take a little bit out of there anytime you're editing to the music when you have this dark 
dark kind of style you really want to match that with the color grade first now let's go ahead and talk about some of these effects some of these other little cool things that you guys will be able to do starting off with some really easy stuff you can do in premiere some really common stuff that i see a lot of these people doing that a lot of your clients might like some of these little simple transitions hey let's go over to our effects library and then we're going to go ahead and look up the word additive and you want to add an additive dissolve onto your transition drag it onto where that transition is just like that and go ahead and play now what you're gonna see is it kind of does this weird crossfade to really get it to flash you want to just make that smaller and then bam you have more of a little crossfade flash you can even make it tiny to really make that flash kind of pop so just a quick little pop just like that pretty simple easy effect of course you could just right click apply default transitions have the normal crossfade just like that but there's so many applications where this can look good and you can use that as a really cool transition and i don't want you guys to think that anything in this tutorial is the only way that i think you guys should be making these types types of videos you can go through my channel find tons of different effects that you guys can use and throw into any kind of dark music video trap music video any kind of video it's not about the effect it's really about the application that's what I'm really trying to teach. I think the real difference in skill gap is just knowing when to use the right tool for the right job to get the desired outcome, to get the look that really matches the music. Now I made a video that I really like a lot. It's called best effects to add speed and motion into your videos. I'm going to link that below because it builds more off specific effects. Whenever I did make that tutorial, the main things that I would show you is these preset transitions where you could kind of add these quick little swipes into your video. Now I actually went ahead and made a huge transition preset pack with all of this kind of darker trap style in mine give you guys really the essentials of oh, the speed demon transition pack i am kind of plugging and advertising it but at the same time i do think that it is useful for this and that's why i chose to make this video right after i released that pack tutorial that i really had in mind for that i'm just going to go ahead and look up speed demon gives you a mix of creative stuff as well as these essential little quick strikes that you can use to add motion i gave you some presets like bump that you can throw onto clips to have them match the bass and the sounds i have a full dedicated tutorial talking about that let me just show you real quick so say for example let's go ahead and add in a quick little transition here we'll place it at this cut we'll go to the left twice one two with our left arrow key click Control k to make a cut go back to the middle and then two frames to the right again so one two and we're going to go ahead and make another cut now we have these two little sub clips in between where we want to make a transition select those sub clips right click go ahead and click nest and then go ahead and add the quick strike and bam you can see i have made a bunch of these specifically keeping this kind of dark trap style in mind. I think it works best for those kind of videos, but I think that these are the kind of essential speed effects that you can use for any kind of video out there. And that's what I do myself. I use these kind of essential stuff a lot. Now there are some other free alternatives that you guys can search for on the internet and find similar stuff to this. I know there's a bunch of YouTubers making free preset packs out there, which is awesome. I definitely recommend checking that out if you don't want to spend any money. If you are interested in the pack that I made myself, you can check out the full tutorial for that. The jitter presets, invert presets, speed transitions and then some creative kind of trippy stuff as well so the light version which has the essentials for $15 and then the full version for $30 if you're interested in that link in the description of course all up to you I just thought I would mention it in the video because these kind of transitions are the things that I think can really help to add that speed now just some more little basic stuff like I said keeping that editing to the music in mind one simple little thing you can do is just make little cuts like this just move one frame click Control K what you can even do is use you can even take your razor key move one frame just cut out stuff like this and you can use that as a super viable way to edit to the music all you need to do is take these delete every other one of these little one frame clips that you cut out and bam you have this simple little flash and that can work well with music as well especially in trap heavy music where you have those bass effects and then you have those quick snares this i think works really well with the snares and then the other preset which is in the speed demon effect pack is this bump preset let's go ahead and make a little cut throw bump onto there and this is simple i made a video talking about this this is just simple use of keyframes and resizing so let's go ahead and click effect controls what i want to do is take these keyframes and kind of spread them out a bit of course if you want to make this from scratch i'll link the full tutorial below talking about how you can make this this is just a quick little easy drag and drop preset let me show you those three super simple essential really useful to use with editing to the music and these kind of dark trap videos effects so we have bam swipe transition bump transition for the bass and then these kind of snappy flashes for the snares. 
And then of course I showed you the additive dissolve flash transition, talked about the VHS overlays, the film overlays, that real grain, real grainy and grungy textures that you can get for free and overlay this. Talked about the color. Let me show you some little creative things that we can do within After Effects. So I did show you the line animations. Also a little side tip, this is what I do whenever I'm bringing in After Effects. If you didn't know, whenever you right click this and replace with After Effects composition, the Lumetri color kind of gets messed up. So what I like to do to kind of combat against that is I'll hold down Alt, drag up just to make a little duplication of that clip and then I'll right click and I'll just remove all of the attributes move all the effects all the color grading off this top clip and then I'll bring that clip into After Effects and do what I want to do. Then once I'm done, you'll see we'll go back in here and I just copy and paste the color grade and all the other effects that I did prior back onto my After Effects clip. So just to show you, let's right click, replace with After Effects composition, just like that. I talked about this briefly in the Travis Scott video I made, which is really long. So I figured I'd mention in this as well. I'm just gonna touch a little bit on motion tracking. Now you can use motion tracking for a huge amount of things in After Effects. It's probably one of the most useful things that you can do with an After Effects. So if you just right click, you go to track and stabilize you can track the camera basically after effects reads the scene and you can use that little bullseye to plant things in parts of your scene a bunch of tutorials talking about that with 3d motion now track motion that's where you can pick a specific subject track an object that follows that along we talked about that a lot as well we're going to be talking about a specific kind of track motion i'm going to go ahead and click that and you see our tracker window opens up here if you're not seeing it make sure you click on window and just make sure tracker is checked as well as you might have to scroll down here to find it but but with your tracker up, you're going to see track camera. We talked about that warp stabilizer just to make just to fix shaky footage. We want to do stabilized motion. And like I said, we talked about this in that Travis Scott and Drake sicko mode music video where Drake's face kept staying in the middle of the scene and it created this really cool shaky but still kind of shot. I think that's a cool little creative thing. And of course, you can go on my channel, find millions of things that you can use for these kind of trap music videos. Just try and keep in mind, real key here is editing to the music, putting what you see as fit. All right, so all you need to do is just put that tracker the person's face that you want to keep in the middle and go ahead and just click play. You don't have to set up a null. You don't have to do any extra crazy stuff. And you're going to see the track point stays pretty well on there. We're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Once you've gone in and done that and you have all of these kind of track points, these keyframes that it's created for you, what you need to do is just go down to your tracker and click apply. Make sure it's on X and Y by default. Okay. And bam, what you're gonna see here is that it's tracking that face to be in the middle of the screen. What you're gonna see that it's adjusting the scale to kind of compensate for that. Take the corners, drag them up like that, and you guys are gonna see, you guys are gonna see it's tracked to the face and it's going to stick, and the camera is gonna be really locked on there. Just like this, as you guys can see. It's completely following the path of the face. I think that's an effect that hasn't been used a lot. So I think this could be something that would be really useful for these kind of videos where it really directs the attention of the viewer and locks on to a specific part of the scene. So I think that's something that's pretty useful. I think that could be a really cool effect for darker music videos, trap music videos. If you guys are looking for any more specific effects, check out my channel. We have a bunch of tutorials, but just keep in mind what I said about editing to the music, keeping the kind of vibe the same, not overdoing it, but just giving it the right amount that it really needs. Hope this helped you. Anyways, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you did enjoy, it helps the growth of the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.